Welcome. My name is Mike Hendrickson. I'm a vice president at O'Reilly, and I'd like to welcome all of you and thank you for coming out uh, to this special launch event with SOSTA. Um, at O'Reilly, we've looked at different factors that are changing the businesses today, and especially the ones that want to be successful. And some of those are the speed that digital companies are now moving in. They need constant operational and performance-related data and information. They also need a deep understanding of their users and real-time understanding of those users. So they also need to monitor the health of their systems at any given time. Um, so one other important factor that we see is they need to see everything about their business, not just one aspect. So they need to bring a bunch of things together. They also need to share and respond to actionable data. They also need to collaborate, especially across silos and across different data sources. So those are a couple of the things that we see at O'Reilly. Um, we also look at they need to be able to control this information. They need to be able to make actionable, real decisions for their business in real time. But they also need to hear what SOSTA has in line for them. So I'd like to welcome SOSTA CEO and co-founder, Tom Lunavas. Tom? Thanks, Mike. Thank you. I think for all the entrepreneurs in the room, and there are a lot of them, uh, when you spend two years of your life building a product, it's a very special moment to get a chance to launch that product. And that's what we've done. We've actually spent, if you really put it together, almost 20 years to reach this point. And it's been a collaboration over the last two years with certainly our team, which is extraordinary and has been together for almost 20 years, led by Tana and her team. And I'll introduce Tana in a second here. But it's also been a collaboration with great customers. You know, we have many of them here, Nike, Nordstrom's, Microsoft, all part of it, Sephora, all part of our customer pool that have informed this product that I'm about to announce to you. It also comes from the fact that over the last two years, we've monitored and measured, tested and optimized over 100 billion user experiences for some of the leading brands in the digital business. And the thing that we learned through that process was there's no single view of customer experience. Customer experience is buried in silos inside of an organization. It may be in Omniture or core metrics, really great technologies for the business side, or it may be in the performance side for tools like New Relic and AppDynamics or those kinds of tools. But there hasn't been a correlation of those data. There hasn't been correlation of business metrics to performance metrics. And that's why we built the doc. And so I'm very honored on behalf of the entire SOSTA team, our investors who are also here, to introduce to you for the first time the, digital, the first digital operations center ever built for performance, the DOC. Now, I'm going to ask Tana to come up, and her team has been working so diligently for so long. But before I do, I want to make a couple points. And Mike made those points as well earlier. This is not a presentation layer. This is a platform for action. This is about optimization. That's what we do. What we have behind this technology, which you'll see beautiful aesthetics in terms of how we represent customer experience, is probably the most advanced correlation engine in the business today. It's all in memory, it's all real time, and it allows you to correlate business and performance metrics real time on the spot. So while you may get caught up in our very advanced data visualizations, recognize that this platform is all about action. It's all about optimization. So with that, let me turn it over, to, and I'm very proud to introduce you to Tana Jackson, who's our, one of our founders, our VP of engineering, a professional triathlete, uh, to take you through and give you a little bit of a tour of the doc. So, Tana, take it over. I'm very excited to be demonstrating the brand new Digital Operations Center. The doc is an application that consists of data running across multiple displays. Your doc can be a continuous wall of displays like this one, we call this our performance wall, or it can be displays that are distributed throughout your room, but they're all running together as a single application. The dock is scalable across multiple machines, so there's no limit to the number of displays that you can have in your dock. The dock brings together for the first time your entire customer experience as a single view. 
The doc that I have loaded here has performance metrics, it has business metrics and security metrics, all in an integrated view. This is a DevOps doc of a large fashion company. And if I'm a DevOps engineer, I'm always interested in my individual user experiences. So I have Sosta Impulse loaded in the middle, where I can see the green beacon signifying good user experiences of, say, less than six seconds. And the red beacons, which fortunately we don't have so many of, which are representing less than optimal user experiences. And across the dock, I have business metrics that let everybody know who's walking by that my site is performing well. And while I'm always monitoring and measuring, I'm also testing against production. So I have cloud test results loaded in the upper left-hand corner so I can easily see if the arcs turn red that I have a problem. But this doesn't have to be a large load test. This is just a low number of virtual users that I'm continually running through my system as a health check. And my doc has performance metrics, so I can easily see how my site is performing now as compared to my last release, or how it might be performing compared to my competitors. My doc also has security information, so I can track current threats against my site and how they might be related to my current user experiences. And in another channel of the same doc, I'm watching a live fashion show. And this is important because I think that this might explain some of that increase in traffic that I'm seeing. So I also have in my doc social media, so I can see what my users are saying about my site right now. And I have loaded my support system, so I can see if there's an increase in tickets and how that might be correlated to my current user experiences. We also have external monitoring so that I can discover and perhaps decide to reroute traffic through a different CDN. But the doc isn't simply a presentation layer. I'm able to control all of this data through a single point of control. You've been seeing me control the doc through an iPad application. I can switch channels in the doc. I can visually alert by changing the arrangements of the doc. And I can reload the doc with entirely new content. The doc is also controllable through a website. So I've loaded a small video here which shows what the doc controller looks like when it's running in a web page. So when it's running in a browser, you get this channel library that comes up from the bottom and you can drag and drop content onto panels of the doc in order to reload the content. The doc is also controllable through an API. You can programmatically send content to the doc and you can programmatically visually alert. Your cloud test could send relevant dashboards to the doc if, if certain thresholds are met. And the doc is also distributable. You can have docs in different locations throughout your company, all with their own specific data. But if a company-wide event occurs, you can send the same content to all of the docs so that everybody's looking at the same thing at the same time. Collective understanding equals collective action. So I've shown that the doc is collaborative and it allows you to bring your data together and to correlate it in order to see your customer from all angles. And it allows you to distribute your data and your insights across all of the locations in your company. I'm going to pass it back over to you now, Tom. Great job, Tana. Thank you. Isn't that great? Hey. <laughs> Thank you. It, it would be impossible for us to show you all the capabilities of the doc. You don't spend two years and then spend five minutes to describe it all. What you should think about when you think of the doc, think of customer experience, think of centralized intelligence, and distributed insight. That's the key to the game. You've got to take those thousands of views that we collect on a daily basis in our day-to-day -day business and pull them together into a centralized intelligence engine. And then you want to distribute actionable intelligence back out to the people that are required to have it. So it's control, it's collaboration, it's correlation. Those are the three tenets that make the doc. And so we're really, really proud to be able to introduce it to such a large crowd here at the Velocity Conference. So Mike? So, so Tom, and Tom and Tanya, I ha Tana, I have a question for you. So you two years in development, yeah. what led you to, to realize that this was needed in, and in the industry? Because this looks like it's a game-changing uh, type of environment. Yeah. So, well, you know, I think the mistake, Mike, sometimes for, you know, this is a lot of ours, multiple companies and starting companies, and I think the mistake sometimes is engineers like to build really cool things. And we're a bunch of quants. We're a bunch of analytics. We took a company public back in the 90s around analytics. 
what this is all about is a business problem. This was coming from our customers saying, you know, and we really saw it when we were doing cloud test. You know, we'd run a cloud test and hundreds of people would watch a test. They would be architects and developers and testers and operations folks. They had no collaborative platform. We were amazed at how many people wanted to see a load test hitting a website. And what we realized, there was no collaboration. And then when it became problem resolution, People were looking at different things. Developers and uh, ops folks were looking at different things. They were in silos. And so this came from a, a call to action from the leading brands, digital brands in the world, needing a single customer view, wanting that single point of control, and want to be able to distribute that insight throughout their organization. So when they do have problems, they can drill down very quickly and solve those problems. And so this is completely customizable too, right? So Tana, you were showing the, this view here. You could have different views for different members of your team, like the CMO versus the DevOps or... Right. The doc is going to be used by all of the employees of your company. So all of the different lines of business are going to have different configurations for what they're showing in their doc. Excellent. So the walls, you know, you, there'll be an ops view and they'll have hundreds of different specific views. What'll be different though in that visualization is the ops folks will begin to see business metrics. And right now they don't have that correlated data. And so they want to have that data, but they don't have the access to the data. The doc gives them the language that they can do it. So we, we see the doc as a bridge, a bridge between divisions and silos within organizations, kind of a lingua franca, a way to communicate between business performance and security. And so pulling it all together into a single view that is a customer view. And this is the first time anybody's built a performance platform like this. This is excellent. So uh, yeah, congratulations Thank you. on such an amazing product and something that's changing the face of this industry. Thanks, Mike. Thank appreciate, appreciate being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And welcome to the new face of the digital world. <laughs>